three areas of your life that you should have boundaries in. There is an endless amount of things in your life where you could set boundaries. It could be as simple as lending people things or as large as your physical space. No matter what area of your life you want to set boundaries in, they are always very important. If you feel confident enough to set boundaries and others do not respect it, then it is time to take a step back and look at who you are letting in your life. Boundaries are good for all aspects of life. 1. Physical Boundaries Generally, this is seen as the most important and most apparent area of life for boundaries to be set, whether it be with coworkers, friends, family, or a new partner. Clarifying what is okay and what is not okay for physical touching is a must-do. This is often talked about in terms of toddlers. Some parents make their toddlers hug all of their relatives, but that is teaching children that it is okay to hug someone even if they don't want to. Now, more parents are letting the children choose, and if they don't want to hug their aunt or grandma, then that's okay. It's their choice. This is a very basic way of teaching what boundaries are and how they are okay. However, if you are an adult, boundaries can go much further and be much more difficult to set. You should never feel like you have to let someone touch you, or you have to do this or that with someone. You are in charge of your body, and you should control who can touch you. 2. Emotional Boundaries with an ever-growing look into the mental health of people, emotions and someone's emotional state has become so important. Even if you have no known mental illnesses, making sure that you have emotional boundaries can help you greatly in the long run. One way to set emotional boundaries is by deciding how much you will share about your private life. If you just meet someone, then only share as far as who you are on social media. If you're starting to seriously date someone, then maybe let them in a little more. Things like this will make sure your emotions do not get damaged by others who know about your life. Remember, though, you are only responsible for your own emotions. If someone else reacts badly to you not sharing a lot, then that is their problem. Walk away from the situation and keep your emotions healthy. 3. Time Boundaries This is a big one when trying to change aspects of your life or in your life. Time boundaries mean that you figure out what and where you want to spend your time. You don't go with the flow all the time, and you don't let others take up far too much time or more time than you want to give them. If you have friends that generally lead you to make bad decisions, yet you still want them in your life, then maybe you only hang out with them for a half hour at most. Or maybe you have a toxic parent that you can't go no contact with, so you only see them on holidays and talk to them on the phone once a month. There are plenty of ways to create time boundaries. Creating these types of boundaries could free up a lot of time to do something that inspires you or excites you. Maybe you now have time to learn yoga or do that painting class or go on more dates. If you're able to benefit in any way, then it was a good boundary to set. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.